Poor Little Black Fellow by Langston Hughes, six. And then the devil whispered to Arnie, maybe VV would like to meet some real Americans anyway. He would like the Pembertons to meet her. He'd like to show them that there actually was a young white girl in the world who didn't care about color. They were always educating him. He would educate them a bit. So Arnie invited VV to dinner at the hotel that night. The Pembertons had finished their soup when he entered the sparkling dining room of the hotel. He made straight for their table. The orchestra was playing Strauss. Gentlemen in evening clothes and ladies in diamonds scanned a long and expensive menu. The Pembertons looked up and saw Arnie coming, guiding VV by the hand. Grace Pemberton gasped and put her spoon back in the soup. Emily went pale. Mr. Pemberton's mouth opened. All the Americans stared. Such a white, white girl and such a black, black boy coming across the dining room floor. The girl had a red mouth and gray eyes. The Pembertons had been waiting for Arnie since four o'clock. Today, a charming Indian mystic, Najuti, had come to tea with them, especially to see the young Negro student they had raised in America. The Pembertons were not pleased that Arnie had not been there. This is my friend, Arnie said. I've brought her to dinner. Vivi smiled and held out her hand, but the Pembertons bowed in their stiffest fashion. Nobody noticed her hand. I'm sorry, said Grace Pemberton, but there's room for only four at our table. Oh, said Arnie. He hadn't thought they'd be rude. Polite and formal, maybe, but not rude. Oh, don't mind us then. Come on, Vivi. His eyes were red as he led her away to a vacant table by the fountain. A waiter came and took their orders with the same deference he showed everyone else. The Pembertons looked and could not eat. Wherever did he get her? whispered Emily in her thin New England voice as her cheeks burned. Is she a woman from the streets? The Pembertons couldn't imagine what so lovely a white girl that so lovely a white girl would go out with a strange negro unless she were a prostitute. They were terribly mortified. What would he do next? But maybe he doesn't know. Did you warn him, John? Grace Pemberton addressed her husband. I did, replied Mr. Pemberton shortly. A scarlet woman, said Emily faintly. A scarlet I think I shall go to my room. All the Americans in the dining room must have seen. She was white as she rose. We've been talked about enough as it is. Traveling with a colored boy, for our sakes, he might have been careful. The Pembertons left the dining room, but Grace Pemberton was afraid for Arnie. Near the door, she turned and came over to the table by the fountain. Please, Arnold, come to my room before you go. Yes, Miss Grace, I'll come, he said. You mustn't mind, Vivi patted his arm. The orchestra was playing the Song of India. All old people are the same. As they ate, Vivi and Arnie talked about their parents. Vivi told him how their folks hadn't allowed her to come away to study music, how they'd even tried to stop her at the station. Most elderly people are terrible, she said, especially parents. But they're not my parents, Arnie said. They are white people. When he took Vivi home, he kissed her. Then he came back and knocked on the living room door. And we'll pause there.